Hello friends, and it's the first race of week two, and I think we're in for a tough one here. We're going to start uh, each week, try to start with uh, Formula Renault 2.0, and we're here at Okiyama. I've, I've done a bit of practice, and I've made a few tweaks to the setup. Uh, I'll be trying to do that this season, just to get it balanced a bit more how I want it, uh, and try and get our get rid of those situations maybe where I just sort of oversteer out of corners by getting the throttle down too much. Uh, as you can see we are car number six of 18. It's one split so it's quite a range on the split going down to a 0.6k in 19th place so that should make it a comfortable race. 18 laps here should last us about half an hour. Uh, Let's go out and qualify. So what I've done to the setup certainly for the race is reduce the fuel down. Which I think is uh, almost a standard practice in this series. They're overfueled in the fixed setups. Not that it costs you too much time, I don't think. Having the extra fuel. But I, I've taken some rear wing out. A couple clicks on the rear wing. Just try I found I was oversteering a bit too much out of some of the slow corners. Now that's probably gonna hurt me in the slow corners. But hopefully it means we're less likely to spin out. I'm struggling with this corner. I'm just struggling to see it. See where the apex is because my mirror is in the way. Am I only working on single screen? I don't know why I'm breaking there. Fluffed up that last corner. Good job it's a short run to the, to the first corner. Well, if you want a lesson on missing the apex, that was one. Now this is always going to be a tough corner in the race. Certainly first couple of laps. So many people lose it there. Just overdriving it. Heat at the moment, sort of stuff. Now, in taking some rear wing out of it, it should help us a tiny bit down the straights. And I imagine draft is going to be a big thing in this race. So I just wanted it to help protect us. Out of that hairpin, you can get very loose. I think the rear downforce certainly doesn't help in those two left-handers losing the rear downforce. And I've been very inconsistent in the last final corner. One right, lap. one more lap. One minute I'd like to try and keep it tight through there. Travel the uh, least possible ground. Only third, that's a bit of a surprise to me. I wasn't third quickest in practice.
Ah, that's the oversteer I was trying to get rid of. Done it again. Well, this lap isn't going to be as good. Shame because we were up there. Mm. Although it looks like we're over a second off the first two. But Patrick's about the same place, uh, same pace as us in fourth. So we might have a race with him. And then behind that, it looks quite tight. Uh, yeah, I think that was a good lap for me. I don't know how that compares to my best. 28.5 was my best. So we are a bit off that. But that's promising. Now we got... Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce first name, but Seiza here. And I think he's... Might be the same guy that's been in the uh, uh, IndyCar iRacing series. They're often in the same race with... I don't recognise any other names. So a few seconds to go. In the meantime, we'll, we'll wait for that. Just show you this. So this is going to be one of our targets. Uh, so one of our main seasons, main series this season. Uh, we didn't. I didn't race Fuji. I don't own Fuji. And being a new track, I want to see how popular that gets before I decide purchasing it. But I own pretty much most of the other tracks. The ones I don't own is Road Atlanta and Road America, uh, Circuits of America. I might purchase those. Uh, but some of these are, are great tracks for this car. We had a good race at Silverstone previously. Orton Park's always fun to drive there. Into Lagos. Certain Hungaro ring is good in this car. Uh, and Suzuka. Next week, Bathurst. So... You know who knows what happens there but it's a good a good track uh yeah so we're gonna focus on on this series and try and give it our best i know it's not the most popular series so hopefully we can get some decent competition uh but if not don't worry uh some of those weekends are going to be used as practice for the formula one so that will be good uh, right. Well, it looks like most people on the grid are grid up. Make sure we're not the last one to grid up. Paul isn't here yet. We put in plenty of fuel to finish the race. I've only done one practice start, uh, so that that probably worries me a little bit. Okay, Paul is here now. Yeah, first couple of corners can always be very tricky. Well, first hole, first lap could be very tricky around here, but hopefully we can get into a nice gap. There's not many people that are going to crash in front of us. These two look like they'll race off anyway. They're quite sensible drivers. Uh, they should know what they're doing with their level of eye rating. And third, oh, we're down to fourth. I didn't realise that. So someone else put in a quick time. Right. Here we go. Green, green, green. Decent start. Well, he knows what, what he's doing. He went around the outside on us. Let's see if we can keep with the two. They're all pushing wide, they're taking a... Taking a wide line around that corner. Oh, we've been going on. I think goal of this race is just not to crash. Sixth place would be good as we are car number six.
We've already lost them through that section. Two is going for an overtake. Makes it work. I think we're still slightly in the toe. I think this is where we're losing though. He doesn't want to turn in that penultimate corner or the final corner. But we got almost a good enough gap on the five. I don't know if we were struggling around those corners because of a bit of aero push. I think we're probably just out of tow range, but we've got a nice gap behind us now. Locked up slightly there. A late change down there. Wide. That's better. She got to the apex that time. So three laps down. So far, so good. I haven't the leaders haven't raced off as as fast as I thought they would. Sun is shining through the window on my eyes at the moment. A bit wide there. A bit wide there as well. That's better. Let's take a tear off. One coming out of the pits, hopefully he spots us. No, he's not going. That's not very helpful, but we got around him, so that's all right. And that's, he's only probably going to be a problem to the five behind us anyway. We 
just need to break a little bit earlier for the hairpin. Got the line wrong a bit there. Turned in too early. Right. Well, we're in a cushion of six seconds. Three seconds in front and three seconds behind. Quite nice. Just need to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Still a long way to go. The two and the one are very close to get at. And the leader's not not racing away from them. Didn't change down enough there. That's better through there. Uh, slide in that corner. Yeah, so if we can keep this position, you never know what is going to happen with the three up front. One minute twenty-eight point nine zero four. So as the race gets nearer the finish. Need to stop sliding it. It's not going to be good for my tyres. Look like there was a pass going on up there. Nine's in the pits from sixth place. Not that forgiving this circuit if you do go off from crash. A lot of the barriers and walls are very close. Anyway, it's good to be back on I race. I haven't done that many races since I've been back. Uh, and I'm excited about the courses that we're going to. Uh, locked up there in this series. Don't know what I'm doing here. That just give Patrick confidence. They're still batting up there. If something does happen with the three in front, we're going to need them to get some sort of damage. Otherwise, they're just going to come straight, straight back past us. 
Oh, this is a terrible lap. This might be where that me what I've done to the setup is uh, bad. <laughs> But well, we are now in a 10 second bubble. So that probably 11 second bubble. Oh, seriously underdone that one. Got a wheel on the grass there. Went to the pool left and I started to break. That's a decent lap, just need to keep on doing those. So it looks like Patrick's had an issue. So we're on a class all on our own here now. Looks like the one's been dropped a little bit. Minutes 29.243 
I do wonder if this series would be better reducing the length of the race maybe to a 20 minute race rather than 30 because we'd be about done by now I know it differentiates it from the other D-Class Formula series, but it's not as popular as the others, I don't think. Or should this actually be a C-Class with a 30 minute race? But Formula 3 is C-Class, I think. I'm not sure about that. I haven't checked. I don't own Formula 3 or never driven in it. It definitely feels similar to the other 2D-Class cars. It is open series though, so that's where it differs from the USF 2000. The Formula 4 has open and fixed, so... Yeah, fag. That's first place, binned it. The leader. Well, that's interesting to see what happened there. Does that mean we inherit second place? Well, three's in the pits now. I don't know where the other guy's gone. Five laps is way too long. Patrick the five has gained a little on us, I think, but he's in third now, so we have definitely taken second place. So it'd be interesting to see what happened with those two. It's the one now in the lead, so it was first and second who crashed. I think. Don't mind changing up there. If I'm having a guess, I'd say second place threw it up on the inside there. That's a terrible lap, but still 13 seconds to the five. We just got to bring this home now. The one isn't going to ditch this. Point eight one nine. Right, so this bat marker doesn't ruin my race. Thank you to him. Car on. Clear on the right. I don't actually have my buttons set up on this card, so thank you, but thank you to him anyway.
He's now immediately battling the guy that came out of the pits. That's good. It was. I put 17 litres in. I calculated we needed 15.3, uh, so. Someone who saved could have gone with 15. Actually, I don't know if you'll be able to save that much. I don't know what's up with the race stabs uh, fuel calculator. Keeps on telling me uh, different numbers that we're going to have left. It says 1.3 at the moment, but earlier in the lap it was saying over 2 litres. You've got two laps to go. Two laps? Have I lost a lap? Ah, the three's right behind us. Not sure if he's going to try and get past. Might be a bit damaged. One more left to go. One minute twenty nine point one three five. Three might be down on straight line speed a little bit. There we are. You got it 
Second place. Oh, very happy with that. Very happy with that. And a zero X race. Nice run. Solid work. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Oof, calm down after that. I mean, I, I'm very happy with my performance there. I know we weren't in a race for much of that, and that we benefited greatly from an incident. But yeah, that was, that was some, uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we put ourselves in the position to get a good result, and we did. But the, you know, you've got to do that to be able to benefit from instance like that let's get out of the car uh, I won't do a good race almost did anyway, let's go back and have a look at the start uh, we need to get in the chase cam I will also turn off the overlays for you uh, uh, from memory we let's put it on far chase for memory yeah, we got a decent start there. Beat the one. Maybe could have come out a bit wider. He did well to keep that. And we stayed with them for a bit. That's good. Let's take it back and uh, we'll have a look at the wrecks. Not that one, that one. So this is the 12, near the back. Oh yeah, very easy to do that on the first lap. And everyone misses him. Just want to keep up that curb. Lose all your grip. This is the 10. Oh, that's a bit unusual. He changes down. Don't need to change down for that corner. Oh, almost got run into by the seven. Yeah. I wonder if that's the same time as the other incident. Gets back going. 17. Oh, this is what you see so often in this course. No need to do that, 17. No need. Just completely misses. Where's the break? Where's he break it? So it should be breaking about now. Yeah, I think he does break, just not hard enough. So he takes one off there. This is the four. Oh, gonna get run over by the nine. Oh, it just doesn't break yet. It shows he just misses the corner completely. Does 15 lock up? Oh, brakes massively too late. Is that a barrier? Yes, it is. It's his car broken. 17 again. Misses the corner on the gravel. Loses it. 15. It's easy to do with this corner. It's a difficult one to read the line right. But if you get on... They grab it. Oh, he does well not to put it in, <laughs> in the outside barrier, but he puts it in the inside barrier. That's the 12. 15 again. Uh, yeah, I did that in practice a few times. That's why I changed the setup. But it's just been too aggressive in the throw. Oh, okay. So the 9 and the uh, 13 have a right ding dong. 13 throws up here. That's a bit naughty. I mean, I don't know how the nine got past, and it might be our frustration. That's naughty. That finishes the nine's race. Thirteen goes around. Eleven benefits. Here's the three. Or is this the guy leading at the? Uh, time I can't see because of uh, telemetry yeah it was so this is what happened between the two and the three it's very similar 
Oh, that's... Sorry, two, that's on you. You can't go into the back of someone like that. Uh, yeah, two is completely broken. <laughs> and the three's broken as well. You can see that I think it's the left rear it's gone. Yeah, it's crabbing. Completely broken. What was next? Oh fourteen, right near the end. Yeah, it's not good. You can't get off there. 15 is missing his breaking point again. Oh, and goes around. This is the three after he comes back out. Blinks. That's us in front. The two's back out. Oh, not a good day for the two. Losing the win. No. Was it a three loss win? I don't know. I can't remember. Easy to do. Too much throttle and too much wheel. And that's it. That's all the instance for you. Uh, let me go and get the results. No, that's the practice results. Let me, I'm still finding them. Here are the results. It was a 16.36 strength of field. We gained 0.15 safety rating needed that. And we gained 71 I rating. Now, I'm pretty sure that's the highest I rating I have ever been. 2014. Uh, I've only briefly flirted into the 2000s. Uh, I think I was in and out of it in a week. <laughs> so it on my graph on iRacing doesn't even show I went into the 2000s, but I've got the award, the achievement. It says, shows I got in there. Uh, in terms of results, we were car number six. We put it nicely on P4. We finished second thanks to an incident. Uh, 94 championship points. That is a good start to our season. And we beat other people in division three there's only two other div oh no three other division threes uh zoe daniel and patrick in terms of pace i think we were pretty much on our own you see the winner he did a 28 zero where's the three he did 28 one and the wasn't the four it was the two wasn't it there's others, the two there. He was the quickest. The 27 8. Although, as you can see, our pace fell off during the race. So, uh, I don't know if that was my setup change or just me. Uh, but it might be this course. Uh, who gained the most high rating? That was us. I've had a few of those recently. I, well, I never used to take note. Who lost the most? I think it was the nine after his uh, ding dong with someone else. He lost 71. Uh, it was only one split. Uh, so there will be more Formula Renault 2.0 coming your way. Uh, so look out for those. Uh, I'm just going to go back quickly to look at what the tyres were. I never really pay attention to that on here. The left front was heavily used at 85 91 on the left rear so uh, that's probably why we had slowed down so that, that is a bit of tyre wear so worth bearing in mind in future anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon goodbye